We're going to be tying a uh, modification to one of our tried and true patterns, the, the Barrett's Bunny Baitfish pattern. Um, so I've got an S12S hook here. Uh, we've started a base wrap of beige, uh, tan, uh, it's basically tan, 150 denier Lagerton thread. I've got a yellow marabou feather here. Um, we're looking for probably you know a couple inches. Today I'm going to tie this pattern in, in basic, well, not basically, it's going to be a largemouth bass style. Uh, so juvenile largemouth. So I'll tie that yellow blood quill on there. Make a couple parachute post wraps on there just to kind of keep it uh, confined so that the fouls a little bit. going to tie in just a little bit of, uh, of holographic gold flashaboo. Extend that past the tail just a little tiny bit for some kick. Now we're going to tie that crosscut rabbit in. So we're just winding that crosscut forward. There's the basic outline of the body. We've got uh, uh, some extra select craft fur here in medium olive. We're going to use that as the dorsal coloration. So just kind of pre-measure it, do a little pinch method. Trim that down just a hair. So there's your basic outline of the fly. Take my whip finisher at this point in time since most of the tied in materials are in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add uh, the new, new eyes from Clear Cure Goo. I'm mounting these with a little bit of CA glue, but we are going to go over them uh, and make kind of a hard-headed version. So we'll get a little bit better sync with this this one. Killer color on the eyes, though, and a good selection of. of yeah, really, really neat. Um, some of the other ones have a, a ultra lifelike pupil in there. Uh, looks like to me like they, you know, probably took it off of a, another fi a real fi fish in order to, to get the pupil design. That's kind of cool. I just give those a little bit of a pinch. I like to add a little bit of CA in between just to help really mount those those eyes on there. It's going to give you a much more durable fly. So in the old pattern, we would essentially be done. Uh, but we're going to today use the brushable clear cure goo and build up an epoxy like head. So again, we can adjust our sink rate and also think it's going to make a considerably more durable fly as well. We'll take the brush. I mean, this is the brush, but it's thick Correct. in terms of its consistency. So you're moving it around a little bit, but it doesn't move too much on you. It doesn't move too much, really. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll want to control it. I mean, it's a lot, this, the consistency, I would compare it, you know, almost exactly to being like a uh, epoxy. Um, so we'll just give it a little bit of a turn here. Yeah, with the rotary vise, I mean, you can control it really well. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to endeavor to use this stuff, it probably is going to make sense that you invest in a, a, a good quality rotary vise. So as I'm turning it here, I'm just going to whack it with the light. And of course, once you know, kind of once you get that initial singe on the outside of it, 
uh, the rest of it will just cure up as as you give it a little bit of time. But you're you know you're looking at probably 15 to 20 seconds. And the key here is this isn't going to yellow. Correct. It's dry now, or you know, like you said, in 15 seconds, it's only going to cure more in sunshine. That's right. That's right. So the last little embellishment I like to make on my largemouth patterns here for the juveniles. I'll take a, a magic marker and just kind of give it a, a black stripe at the end of the tail. And there you have a completed uh, Barrett's Bunny bait fish in largemouth bass coloration with the new clear cure goo head. One of my favorites, I hope it's one of yours too.